In my previous video, I reported that Daisy's girlfriend, Nadia, was emotional after she posted a picture on her story where she was crying. And so many people were curious about what made Nadia cry. And so now it appears that JC may be the cause, because Nadia was heard crying in the background of Kyla's recent live video, where she also mentioned that she hates JC. <laughs> Now people do have some to say regarding this whole situation and they've been seeing things like that boy be having her depressed, losing weight and all. Someone else stated, I don't care for Nadia for real but this girl giving signs that she don't want the relationship but she keep feeding into it. I noticed she losing weight and all, that boy ain't good for her. Now with that being said, I do want to know what you guys think when it comes to that down in the comment section below. And moving on to this next topic, it looks like some supporters wondered where Wuda was after not seeing Misty with him while she was in Atlanta. Now Misty went on TikTok to let it be known that her baby's daddy, Ricarius, is building himself up and being a better person and that he wanted his son for a whole month. He was not seeing his son in five months. If he's trying to be a better dad, why would I not let him have him for a whole month? Y'all keep talking about, where's my son, where's my son, where's my son? Why y'all so worried about my son? Once again, emphasize my son. I don't even know who started the rumors saying that I left my son at home to go be Isha bodyguard. What? Babes, I live in Detroit. So you think I left my son at home by himself, caught a flight from Detroit to Atlanta just to get in a fight? Are you dumb? So my son is with his dad. Like, y'all act like a kid have to be with their mom 24-7. Like, damn, my son lives in a two-parent household. I'm not going to always have my son, bro. Mind you, my son father has not been active, and we all know this. It's not no secret. But right now, he's, you know, building himself, being a better person, blase, blase. He has not seen his son in five months, so he wanted his son for a whole month. And if he's trying to, you know, be a better dad, why wouldn't I let him have his son for a whole month? I want my son to know his dad. I want my son to have his dad in his life. I know y'all are fatherless, but my son not going to grow up like that. So before I get to talking and saying this and the third, make sure y'all know what y'all talking about. Because I'd be at home all the time with my son. Do y'all know that my son just turned two and he had a whole birthday party and I spent 15 k on his birthday party? Do y'all know that me and my son been swimming to the zoo and all this other shit? Do y'all know that me and my son been like this for a month and months and months just hanging out and doing stuff? But y'all don't know that though. Y'all don't even know my son had a birthday. Y'all want to know why? Because I don't have to post my son if I don't want to post my son. Look at y'all. Y'all negative, like I said before, and I'm not going to keep saying it. But once again, for the last very time, I do not want my son to be involved inside the social media words until he grow up and decides that he wants to be a part of it. Because y'all are negative. Y'all are evil. And y'all are nothing but monitoring spirits. Why would I want that to be in my son's life? Yes, that's what I do. But that don't mean I have to put my son into it. Do you feel me? Ricardo's also uploaded a TikTok video with his son do that. Now, how you all feel about this? Drop your old thoughts down in the comment section below. Now, I don't want to speak on to this last topic, so Missy Mudge went on True Confessions and gave his outlook on some of the influencers' personalities. And this is what he had to say about Bennett and Nadia. Um, she get a three. Um, she is a hypocrite. She is really, really ignorant. But she's really, really pretty. It's a spirit i don't know what it's called it's like a genesis spirit or something like that but i'm not really a fan of her so i'm gonna get her a three <laughs> but nay your personality and i'm gonna be real your personality could come sometimes as a seven on social media real life i barely got to hang out with you but the only reason why i give you a seven is because you know we had our ups and downs you got my page taken down two times <laughs> but um you know it ain't no bad blood i just don't really talk to you like how i talk to anyone else so other than that, I give you a calm seven, despite the things that you said about my grandma. And talking about Bennett, it looks like a social user who went to school with Bennett was triggered after seeing Bennett on her TikTok for your page. And she stated that she was triggered because she used to get bullied by Bennett and her friends. There's nothing worse than seeing the girl who bullied you so intensely in elementary school and middle school be a viral creator on TikTok. Because, you know, you kind of think, you know, Karma, karma will hit them, you know, that's... Karma will, is gonna get them. Karma's gonna get them. Um, karma clearly has not gotten her. She's the creator now, you know? People like her. I think her name on here is like Hollywood or some shit, I don't know. I'm not being quiet about it. But like, 
she bullied me bad. She bullied me real bad. To the point that I like genuinely wanted to like because of how badly she would bully me, her and her friends, like, laugh at me. I have a scar on my thumb from an elementary school when she scratched me. And I was going to tell the teacher, and then she was like, yeah, go tell the teacher. Go do that. And I was like, okay, well, all right. Oh, sorry, I was getting a delivery, so I had to stop recording. But, yeah, seeing that now she's, like, pretty successful and has a lot of followers and stuff just makes me, like, I don't know, makes my inner child sad. Because, you know, growing up, something that made me, like, feel better when bullying was happening was the thought, you know, She's not going to be happy when she gets older. She's going to be sad because she made people sad. No, she seems fine. She seems very fine. Um, and I am still depressed and living with the reper repercussions of her actions. I'm still living with the... Oh, not me about to cry on TikTok. No, I'm still <laughs> living with the emotional damage that she caused. Which does not feel fair. Um, which I don't even know if she remembers. People who bully don't usually remember that they bully people. Um, but I remember. 